Okay, so now we're going to process a drawing, a DXF file in SheetCam. And what SheetCam is going to do is it's going to make the code that we're going to process. That's what a CAM system does, computer-aided machining. So let's open our drawing. We go under File, Import Drawing. Let's find our drawing, our wheel. It's going to bring up this menu here. Now if you bought a full machine from us, this will all be preset. You can hit OK. Now here's our geometry. Bear in mind that from left to right is your x-axis up and down your y. You can see these little numbers change as I move around. Okay, so we want to process this geometry and create a tool path from it. So let's do that. We come down here to operations under this little magic wand here. Or you can go all the way up to operation and click on plasma cut. So let's plasma cut. Now we can pick the inside or offset or no offset. We want to offset this because we want correct geometry and what an offset means is it takes in account half of the width of the beam and the beam under different amperages will have different diameters. So let's pick the outside offset. Let's make this out of 3 a steel. Now this, this is uh, it's going to be a funny part because we have smaller holes in 3 8 So it's not going to work in the world of plasma. But we can just show a tool path. Uh, actually, let's do it right. Let's pick it out of 10 gauge. Okay, so don't worry about any of this yet. Let's go down here. Lead in. Uh, let's leave it there. Let's hit OK. Now what you see here is it created a green tool path around your geometry. Let's zoom in on, on part of this tool path. Now if you look there, it's going counterclockwise around the hole. This is correct as plasma swirls out, plasma gas swirls out of the actual orifice on the nozzle, it will go counterclockwise. This means your best edge will be on the right side of the tool path. Inside cuts we go counterclockwise. On outside cuts we go clockwise. This program will differentiate and it will work well for you. But let's say we had to edit this because this was not right. We can go right click down here under our operation. We can edit. We can pick the inside offset. You notice now it's going around the outside of this geometry and the inside of this geometry. That's not what we want. Let's edit this. Let's pick no offset. Hit OK. Now it's going, the, the geometry is in the middle of our beam. This will not be good. And it gave us a warning saying we could not do a lead in. We want to do a lead in. So let's edit this again. I'll pick our outside offset. There we go. That's it. OK. Cool. OK. Looks like we were looping some corners here too. That gives you a nice square edge right there as you change directions. So let's go up to File and we'll run this post processor. We can hit the green P or File, Run Post Processor. Once we hit that, it gives us a place where we can save it. Let's hit Wheel 2. Let me save it. If there's any errors, they'll pop up here. I'd like to leave this open. Hit OK. Now you've just made code to cut this on your plasma. You're, you're literally 30 seconds from cutting. 